So Ben, what is a code zero? Uh, a code zero is when you've got your radio on you and as simple as I can put it, something's gone really, really wrong. It's gone peak tong big time. Shit's hit fan and you need all your officers there to back you up as quick as you can. I've pressed it numerous times and it's a little button on top of your radio. I've pressed it loads of times and it's just not even activated and no one knows what's going on. When you do press it, you're supposed to press it down, I think, for two seconds and then let it go and it makes this noise. All Everyone's radio flashes red so you could be four miles away in your car and you're, as long as you're on that radio channel, it just flashes red and it'll just be bleeping and instantly that mic's transferable, so you don't have to shout code zero. Whatever's happening, as soon as you press it and it activates, they can hear what you're saying. So, and I can't remember how much it is, it might be 20 seconds worth. So if you're saying, get down, get down, get the fuck down, or get off me, or whatever it is, it's it's free speech, so you could be taking a statement from someone and it'll just come through on your radio, blah, 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 and it starts shouting. And the, the idea being is if you can't use your hands and get to your radio, you can shout an address out, so you, uh, to Woodview Road at Bradford and whatever it is, code zero, code zero, or RTC, you know what I mean, man with a knife or whatever it is. So that's what Bobby's shout down radio, so the no in the control room, literally the control room, desk just lights up, and then the Bobby's lights up code zero, and then all the Bobby's responding to it and everything else. Um, but no one technically normally shouts up, they're going to it, because they're just trying to listen to what's going on. And then instantly, control room will just say, just say, for instance, code zero uh, to Woodview Street, Bradford, and then not say a word because everyone's going and listening to what's going on. But it sends a panic through you because there's so many people that have done it and you can just hear Bobby screaming down radio. And especially um, male Bobbies and they're shouting, help, help, or they're screaming, get off me, get... And it's like it sends you like a chill down you because... Um, you just don't expect a, a male bobbit to be shouting that. You expect, I'm not saying you expect a female bobbit to be shouting it, excuse me, a female bobbit to be shouting it, but you just don't expect it. You know, it's like when you ever hear a man scream, a proper scream, it's a horrible, horrible feeling or hearing. Um, but normally, a lot of times, you'll hear, uh, when a woman presses it, you hear more sensible than what you do with blokes. A lot of women will score, uh, Code Zero, Chelsea Street. Because there's always one that's trying to keep the right level head on. And there's always the other oppo then that's brawling and wrestling knife man, so to speak. So there's always one trying to... You don't want to be... Cause, cause, and not being able to get your message out to people, do you? You want it to all to be properly done, so to speak, so you get them all there. I'm saying so to speak a lot today, aren't I? So to speak. So what happens when you press it then? So then everyone... Everyone on that channel, so just say for instance, we are Bradford, um, City Centre of Bradford, Bradford, City Centre of Bradford might be Bradford 1. Outskirts of Bradford might be Bradford 2, Keithley might be Bradford 3, and it goes like that. So if you're on Bradford 1 and you press it, there might be, I'm just saying, 300 bobbies on Bradford 1, all their radios bleep up. And then ACR will shout up code zero wherever, so wherever you are, you can go so... I were a lot of time on what's called AMPR channel and then force ops because I were in traffic. Instantly the force computer sends it through to every single desk and it'll say code zero and have the address. So then it'll come through on ops. Code, say if you're in Keefe, code zero at Maple Street and then AMPR code zero at Maple. So wherever you are, everybody's got it. Everybody knows. So you could be two seconds away. So you could be at firearms car, dog van. You could be in right van. You could be in traffic car and you'd instantly get message and you can dispatch to it. Does everyone just stop what they're doing and yeah. go? Everyone drops everything and goes. There's no decorum for driving, there's no I'm sorry, I've got to leave. They just wherever you are, you just drop what you're doing, you run and you go because that officer might be counting on you to get there before something bad happens. That officer might have had something bad happens and need you to do emergency CPR or stop the bleeding so to speak or yeah. So even if you were like Writing up a ticket for someone, you just drop it. And yeah, you shout, get out of car now, get out of car. And you just throw them out of car, literally throw them out of car, get out of car now. I think we've ragged a few people out of car. They said, get out of my car, get out of my car. And they haven't got a ticket. I think they're more happy with them not getting a ticket. But that second, three or four seconds, is the difference between someone being stabbed or not stabbed. And they don't press it lightly. 
they don't press it because of the, the board and they've got no, they press it because someone's coming at them with a knife and they're trapped in a corner. The man's pulled a gun on them or they've been run over and been dragged down the street and the legs hanging off. That's why it's pressed. It's not pressed when the cart switch microwave on and warm the chips up. Can you tell us about a time you've responded to somebody else's code zero? Is there any you can think of that? Um, responded to our, our lasses. Our lass and Baby Ben were on patrol together and they went to a domestic and I think there were two women there and I think one went for Baby Ben and the other one attacked our lass. And our lass is quite handy. She's, she used to be British kickbox champion. Um, so she's quite handy. And then literally I remember her pressing code zero and you could just hear it screaming in the background. But ironically, it was the woman that our lass is fighting and our lass is knocking to laugh because <laughs> she's set about our lass and our lass wasn't having any of it. So you could hear a woman scream, but it was a horrible, horrible feeling. We've had it where people have been, um, bobbies have been knocked down or dragged down the road. We've had it at major, major pub fights where there's two bobbies and 50, 60 people on them brawling, like, literally like a cowboy film in, in saloons in westerns. I've pressed it loads of times where, um, like I said, I've, with the, the man and the other stories where the man's trying to stab me in the face with a knife or where I've been knocked down or and it brought my arm, I've pressed it. You, you press it a lot, but you press it when you shits it fan. You don't press it when it's... Ironically, I pressed it once. Well, I didn't press it once. I chased after I had a small pursuit and I run through some bushes and ironically one of the bushes must have pressed it. Like I must have hit a branch and it's pressed it. So I'm running after this lad and I'm shouting, get the fuck down, get the fuck... And I'm throwing this lad on the floor and stuff. Unbeknown to me, I would come out of bushes five minutes later and there's half a Bradford police force like lying up on the street. Because <laughs> they've all come to my head, but I didn't even know it had gone off because I'm zoned in on doing what I'm doing. So yeah, it's a, it's a lifeline for so many bobbies. So many bobbies. And like I said, there's there's a lot of bobbies laid there on the floor. And then when you hear those sirens come in, you could be laid there and it's 30 seconds you're laid down on the floor, but it feels like 10 minutes. And when you hear those sirens come in and you hear them shouting, I'm here, I'm here, code six, or... It feels fantastic to know all your mates are coming in and backing you up and they're not going to let you suffer. It's good. Are there any that particularly stick out in your head as being potentially the more serious code series that you've been called to? The ones that I've been called to are when they're not being able to get on, on the radio and they've been um, severe pursuits where they've been, the bobbies have been rammed uh, and they've been injured in a ramming by the, the criminals in a stolen car or burger car. Or they've come across a fatal car on radio, and there's there's people. Uh, sort of like either decapitated or that sort of thing, and the the bitch is just sheer panic. It's just sheer panic. Um, but yeah, it's it, everyone presses it for their own reason, and they just need I need help, and and that's all it's shouting. Rather than shouting, I need it. I'm, but. All the bobbies that are watching all over the country know that they've either pressed it or they've heard someone press it. And when that sound that rings through your ears, and when it's your mate as well, and you can hear your mate shouting at radio, help me, help me. It's a horrible... Imagine your best mate ringing you up now on the phone and hearing loud banging and him screaming at you, help me, help me, down the phone. And you're at your house, how would you feel? You'd feel, fucking hell, what's going on here? And I need to get to him and you're petrified that he's going to be killed or hurt. And it's exactly the same for us, just because we're police officers, it doesn't mean we don't feel it. It's horrible. How long does it usually take for people to arrive? <sighs> up from 20 seconds, up to a couple of minutes. But a couple of minutes is a lifeline when you're wrestling with... Um, I, I, I can't remember the exact... I won't go into it, but I can't remember the exact story. But we were just coming on late, early team were on, and they'd gone to a job and it was something and nothing, and they were in the bedroom and the bloke just literally pulled out a gun, started wrestling with officers and ended up shooting himself, killing himself. And I remember bleeping on radio, going on, and the wrestling, and I think I think the words were something like, gun, 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 and then it was bang, like that sort of thing. And it's just a bizarre concept when you're thinking like, no one knows what's going on. And So it, that's what I'm saying, it's like, it's a horrible thing, but it's a good thing knowing that the cavalry's coming. Does it's a means to an end? Does that make sense? But yeah, it's it's there for a reason. And I've always said to people, if you want to press it, you press it. But you've either got to justify buying cakes if you've got it wrong, because that's what you do. You buy buns and cakes if you get it wrong, and if you haven't got it wrong, you you've done it for the right reasons. 
So yeah, you code zero for you. This is my new book, Cortel Tango 2-3. It's available from Amazon now and click the link below if you want one. Thank you.